What the hell? Are you freaking kidding me? $15 for a four pack of batteries? That's highway robbery. I go through a lot of batteries. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's throwing things away unnecessarily. You see, Captain Planet taught us that we need to be mindful of the things that we use. That was the whole reduce, reuse, and recycle mantra of the 1980s and 90s. So for the longest time, I've been wanting to switch over to rechargeable batteries. The problem is that they've been ridiculously expensive and underperforming. I'm looking at you, NICAD chemistry. However, recently I've been seeing more and more about these Eneloop batteries from Panasonic. Now they have a low static discharge, which basically means they have a really long shelf life, and they've got a pretty respectable capacity to boot. The problem is, is they're just stupidly expensive. Hey, buddy, give me. Who's uh, in the market for some uh, rechargeable batteries, I see. Well, uh, I can get you a good deal on uh, these here Eneloops, see? No, 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 those aren't in the loops. I mean, you've got Ikea, Amazon, Duracell, hell, you've even got some weirdo brands I've never heard of. Of course, they's all in the loops. Uh, uh, nickel metal hydride, 2450 milliamp hour, 500 charge cycles. Uh, they just got different brand names on them, different brand names, that's all. Uh, it, it's just a big conspiracy, you know, like, uh, like uh, the Illuminati or, or, or Costco. No way, dude. I am not buying no El Cheapo Chinese-made nickel metal hydride cells. I already had a set burn out on me way before their useful life was over. And you can watch that video by clicking the link up here in the corner. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's your dime, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I'm wondering. Eneloops are supposed to be so different from all the other batteries out there. I mean, come on. If everybody's selling batteries with the same chemistry at the same specifications as Eneloop, couldn't they all just be coming from the same manufacturer? It's not like Panasonic is really known for their batteries here in the US, and it's not like there aren't a million factories in China pumping out white label electronics for all the major brands to slap their name onto, right? 2,450 milliamp hours, 500 charge cycles, made in Japan, made in Japan, made in Japan. There can't be that many individual battery plants in Japan. There has got to be some connection in the supply chain. The following is a sordid tale of corporate takeovers, sell-offs, and outsourcing. The nickel metal hydride battery technology we know as Enelu was developed by the Japanese electronics manufacturer Sanyo over 10 years ago. In 2009, Panasonic purchased the Sanyo Corporation. As part of that deal, the factories that made Enelu batteries were sold to Fujitsu, who made Enelu for Panasonic, as well as these white label versions for industrial purposes. When an advanced line of batteries optimized for high impulse, high drain devices like camera flashes called Inalu Pro was developed, Fujitsu manufactured that as well. In 2014, when Panasonic began global distribution of the Inalu brand, Fujitsu moved production of the original Inalu line to their factories in China and the only nickel metal hydride batteries still produced in Japan are the Inaloop Pro cells that come from Fujitsu's last remaining Japanese battery factory. Thus, all nickel metal hydride batteries made in Japan come from the same place, and, at least theoretically, could be the same cell with a different label. Meanwhile, I've noticed that IKEA has recently changed the appearance of their Lada rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries from these brown labeled ones uh, that are made in China to these literally white labeled ones with the same specifications as Inalu Pro. At this point, I think it might be time to take a trip to IKEA. I thought that said Fart Gone at first glance, which would be a great name for an air freshener. Don't put this near your computer. It did hurt you! Not. Crap, what is this? What is this? Ten bucks? I'll, I'll try it.
Throg and Chug. And then we have 2450 million power batteries made in Japan. So, pretty sure that these are going to be inner loops, just with a different brand name on it. So, we'll throw this in there. So, you remember that battery tester I built a few weeks ago? This is where it all comes together. First thing I'm going to do is discharge a brand new set of LADA and Inaloop Pro batteries. I might as well grab some data here too so I have a baseline to measure. It. Turns out that both brands of batteries have a similar and pretty typical discharge curve. I'm not too worried about the capacity or the running time right now just because I have no idea how old any of these cells really are, so we'll compare capacity after giving them all a full charge. Now that both sets of batteries are fully charged, it's time for the real test. I ran all eight batteries through the test device, averaged the results, and determined a 2% margin of error for the trials. I only discharged each battery down to 0.9 volts as a safe margin because nickel metal hydride cells can become damaged if allowed to drain below 0.7 volts. Still, this is plenty of data to plot a discharge curve and determine practical capacity. As you can see, the discharge curves are nearly identical between the two battery brands. As for the capacity, according to my tests, the AA Inalute Pro cells average 2,300.59 milliamp hours, and the LADA, 2,301.56 milliamp hours. That's less than five one hundredths of a percent difference between eight batteries. So the question remains. Are IKEA LADA batteries really just Inalut Pros with a different label on them? Well, I have a better question for you. If IKEA batteries are $5 for a 4-pack and Inalut Pros are $20 for a 4-pack and they have almost identical specifications, does it even really matter? Still, I am 99.957% sure that they are the same battery. If I've just potentially saved you a whole bunch of money, click that little like button down there, and don't forget to share this with your Facebook and Twitter pals as well, because I'm sure they would like the information. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a single DIY, how-to, maker project. We also have the Freeway Forum live here every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. My name is Atari, I appreciate you watching, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.